Hi, I'm John Canalopoulos here in our center in Athens, Greece, the Laser Vision Ambulatory Surgery Center. I'm going to talk a little bit about IOL calculation. We all know that it's based on two principles, the actual length between the cornea, the apex of the cornea, and the macula, and the curvature of the cornea. So this is how most uh, IOL calculation formulas are, work. The problem is what happens in keratoconus, because in keratoconus, the cornea is irregular. And most of our equipment that we measure keratometry, the interferometry devices, measure the central cornea, usually between 2.5 and 3.2 millimeters. The lengths are, for instance, that we use routinely for routine cataract procedures, measures a 2.8 diameter circle based on the center of the cornea and a 3.2 diameter circle, and gives us the average. Now, we'll see how in keratoconic eyes this can be quite. Uh, off and how it can um, really become complicated to measure and calculate an IOL for a keratoconic patient. And I hope you find uh, this uh, storyline interesting. Okay, here's our 45 year old lady who has keratoconus. We can see a cataract that's uh, debilitating. Uh, the story behind here is that uh, back in 2007, we had performed the Athens Protocol CXL. You can see her pictures then and compared now her cataract is debilitating this is the hd analyzer showing how uh, the image is distorted through the cornea and mainly her lens she's just uh, 2400 and with a minus five minus seven astigmatism of 40 degrees she corrects to barely a 2050. now in our lens star calculations you can see the keratometry here 4654 this is the tomei device that we use as a second interferometer, the actual length measurements in the right eye are 2571, and this is the uh, placido, this topography by the interferometer, uh, the uh, Tomei interferometer, and this is uh, the oculus placido, this tomography, topography rather, that gives us different uh, axes and different amount of astigmatism, and this is the five millimeter pentacam, and we're going to talk a little bit about this uh, further down the line. Now, this is the calculation. Uh, keratometry from the Tomei that we talked about before and now we're basing our IOL calculation the Microsoft Torque it's a T9 not available in the US outside the US and it's a six diopter lens at 132 degrees so here's our surgical plan T9 132 degrees uh, on the drape at the time of the surgery we're going to adjust our um, Correcting here, 132 degrees. We're going to adjust our uh, ASICO axis marker to 132 degrees. We had found this to be relatively accurate. I marked the 6 o'clock position on the slit lamp and use it as a driver for the second rotation. The patient is under perivulbar anesthesia. So these are 132 degrees for a T9 lens. My incision is always... Um, uh, around 135 degrees and this is part of my IOL calculation for torque lenses that you saw before we're going in with the three different directional incision a 275 keratome and um, a presenthesis for the uh, right eye that we're seeing here at the three o'clock position we're going to use the same blade but just go in one millimeter as you can see here the rest of the procedure is pretty much standard this is a um, continuous uh, curvilinear capsulorexis with the utrata forceps. Make sure that we're um, a little bit under six millimeter, which is the optic for our Acrosoft Torque Aspheric IOL. The lens is relatively easy to absorb with minimal phaco energy, as you can see here. Um, and uh, after um, irrigation aspiration is completed, uh, the procedure is done. But what is happening during my procedure is we're recalculating the lens based on the five millimeter pentacam data and this is different and this is the holiday formula see how different the lens is now for a planar lens the lens instead of six is almost 10 in a different axis 123 degrees so see how the keratometry difference between the lens star and the pentacam completely changes the story here we're going to use we're going to shoot for a little bit of myopia so I'm shifting the implantation axis from 132 degrees to 123 degrees. Remember, every two degrees off, the toricity loses 8% of its power. 
Methocellulose on the surface. I have the new axis. Uh, you saw the difference in the lens too. Instead of a plus six lens, we're going to go with a plus um, eleven or twelve lens. This is a uh, eleven and a half to attain also adopter myopia. So if we had implanted the six doctor lens, we would have ended up with six doctors almost of myopia. So see how critical it is because we know that keratometry affects the IO power by about a 0.9. Um, and we're at the end of the procedure here. And I think this case underlines very well on how important and how many different keratometry we have and how important it is to make this choice. We presented our data before. This is a nice surprise. 2025, our first uh, postoperative day. Very happy patient. Um, and uh, this is John Kalapas signing out. Hope you found this material interesting.